other gifts Lots and sundries. Blanket for one. Yeah, Brian, uh, one of the recruiters there, Hummer, gave Donna a blanket, yeah. which she's totally excited about. I am because look, it's soft and fuzzy. Yeah, on it's inside. just the perfect size for you know just sitting up here in the seat. Because yeah. I always have either the air on, even in the winter. Either the air on or at least the vent on because I roast constantly. She freezes. So now she's got her hoodie, her pants, and, and a blanket. And a blanket, yeah. Greg, our in our safety department, was sick and tired of seeing me wear a Western Star hat. So he gave us a couple hats too. Yeah. Gave us some notepads. Notepads. And we got like shower bags. Yeah. truck in and get service and while I was getting the service we figured we'd run up to the office and pick up our hoodies that came in and our we, we've got a duffel bag too but they said that was back order right now so we didn't get the duffel bag yet. Uh, I think everything we have in here now is all Hummer stuff. Yeah now it's including us. I don't know if they're going to come out with Hummer blue jeans and underwear but if they do <laughs> we'll show you them. <laughs> what a Hummer thong? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Hummer written right after <laughs> Hummer across the butt, kind of like pink. <laughs> there we go. See, we're throwing out ideas for there everybody. You try. Yeah, yeah. Troy said he was wanting some ideas. There you go. <laughs> but now they gave us a lot of cool stuff today. Um, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I'm sporting a new GoPro chesty, and then look what I've got going. Yeah. No, I didn't get a new GoPro. This is my old GoPro session that I thought had taken a crap. And I told you that, you know, one time I'd record like 20 seconds and then the next time it might record for two minutes. And anyway, I was, I started, I was thinking about going and picking up a new GoPro this weekend. And I was like, eh, I'm going to give this one because I've torn that one apart. I've torn this one apart to fix, you know, little things on it. And I thought, eh, I'll give it one more shot because I like to get my goodie out of everything. So, um, I started Googling around and I found out that a lot of people were having the same issue with the Hero Session and come to find out it was when GoPro put out an update for this session about, what was it, maybe six months ago, seven months ago, when they put out an update for this, um, I downloaded the update and I updated the camera, but what I didn't do is read the release notes and the release notes say in there that they changed the read write speed of the camera also to make it a little faster or to read and write faster so you needed to upgrade the SD card so all I had to do is buy an SD card that wrote faster that's that's all I had to do I think this one writes at like 90 megs a second so that's it that's all I had to do so it's big so I'm very happy so anyway went to the shop got to the shop at what like quarter to six this or quarter to seven this morning Got our service done. Phil did an awesome job as usual. Got us in and out really quick, which was amazing. Because we thought we'd be there for a few hours, but I mean, we was in and out of there really quick today. So we're heading out to um, Salt Lake City right now. Back out to Honda to drop this. Then after that, we we got our reload ready this morning for when we drop this tomorrow morning. It was over in Wyoming, right off of 80 even. So that's going to be nice. That load's coming back to Iowa. Right? No, that load's going back to Nebraska. Yeah, I'm taking that back to Nebraska. All right, so, uh, yeah, we just left Hummer about half an hour. Was it about half an hour ago? Half an hour. I was getting ready to ask you when I said it. So we just left Hummer about a half an hour ago. So this is like our first official week of doing, not really regional, but kind of hanging around this area so that if we need to get home, We'll see how that goes. Last week worked out really well, but last week wasn't really an official week to start that. Last week we just done that because of her getting sick and then me getting sick, which I don't even know if I said on the other video, but I ended up getting it on Thursday. And then had to drive home Friday all day, and that was just absolutely miserable. Oh my God, I felt so horrible all day Friday. I just wanted to get home. Donna's enjoying her blanket already. Massive. You got Hummer on that. You got Hummer on your coat. You got a Hummer hat. You got your Hummer t-shirt on. I did Hummer today. <laughs> well, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With that note, we're going to get out of here. Uh, we either 
got a car on fire down in the ditch that set the grass on fire, or we just have a grass fire, but either way, something's on fire. Oh my god, it's a semi down. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. That was a semi down in the ditch under the median or under the overpass. Oh, that's bad. It was completely gone. The whole truck was gone. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess everybody should probably pray that that guy made it out of that one alive because that looked really bad. All right, so like I said, uh, since we got the camera going, um, today's been a little bit hectic. We did get into Gretna, Nebraska, and I was planning on recording when we got there, but I ended up getting a phone call from our daughter, and it's it's been a kind of a stressful day again. Um, but we did get the truck washed. It is super nice there. I'll post a picture. I took a picture of the terminal up there. The place is just spotless. It's just spotless. Everything about it is clean. Even the wash bay was clean. Grounds outside, it's, it's just spotless. The place is just, it's amazing. Yeah, they got a truck wash in there and they've got a guy that that's what he does is he washes your trucks. We didn't even have to wash our own truck. Um, guy done a great job. I mean, he done just as good a job as Beacon does. Yeah, I think we'll stop there every time because, I mean, it saves them from having to pay for it. Yeah. And a truck amount, I mean, it's not that good of a watch. No, no. <laughs> so, I would rather just stop in Gretna. We go past there every week. Yeah, and to be honest, what I've been doing is I've been washing the truck at home on the weekends because they've got an account at truck is where we're supposed to get, or where they prefer you to get them washed, but I'm not trying to down the company, but boy, the lap, every time we go there, uh, it's, it's horrible. I mean, the one time, the last time I think it was that we went there, when we got home, I spent another 20 minutes washing the truck. It was so bad. I'm not impressed with trucking Matt. Well, yeah, we'll either go to Gretna at the terminal there. Well, yeah, because he done, he done a better job than both of them. Yeah, or I'll just, I'll just do it myself. I, I know it's not my money, but it is my money. You know, I mean, we work for the company, so I'm not one of those that are like, well, you know, I don't care. I didn't, it wasn't my money. Well, you know, indirectly it is your money. So if it means wasting $75 at the truck I'm at and having to clean it anyway or re-clean it, then I'd rather just do it myself at home. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. We're going to do it this weekend, but neither one of us can Yeah, we just kind of felt like crap from having the flu thing that we had. I was going to wash it Sunday and I, I looked outside and I just, I couldn't muster the energy <laughs> so we didn't do it. But today, and today's just been driving, we just literally been driving through Nebraska all day so you know, it's just flat. There's yeah, nothing really to see Nebraska. and we're still in Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, the video before this where I had the chest mount strapped on, I know that that video is not the greatest but I'm still, I still obviously put it on there but because the chest mount was down too low, but I got a couple extensions. I got a ton of GoPro pieces in here. So I added a couple extensions. I got it up about that much higher. It goes right over the steering wheel. It's perfect. So you guys should let us know what you think of that. I mean, if you don't like it, I won't do it again. It don't matter to me. I can just set the camera up on the dash. So, um, you know what we need? You know what we need from everybody? We need a name for our truck. <laughs> we have still not named this truck. I call it names sometimes, but that's well. We call it names, but yeah, they're not appropriate <laughs> truck names. <laughs> but yeah, we need a name for our truck. You guys should help us name the truck. Leave them in the comments, and then we'll do a poll after that. Do that. Just put your name that you think this truck should be called in the comments down below, and then once so I get enough of them up, I'll throw it up in a poll, and we can all vote on it. Wait, wait, wait. It's got to be something that we can say on video. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be an appropriate name number one that we can say on video and still keep this semi G rated like comment subscribe and share you guys are doing awesome on that you know how I know how because we're getting like 10 to 15 subscribers per day giving us a thumbs up on it helps us tremendously um, it, it, it's really boosted our account it's because of you guys so we appreciate it yeah we really do appreciate it all right um, we'll get out of here leave you alone